<laughs> Cleavage shot. <laughs> Hey everyone, Paul Richman here with the beautiful Vivian von Brokenheimen. And we are here to do another episode of Painting with Friends. I feel like fan of what? <laughs> you look just like Friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We're gonna do a like a, a picture of a normal looking guy first, and then Vivian is going to teach me how to transform him into a beautiful drag queen like you. Colton Haynes is a doll, so. Yeah. So too bad he's got a shirt on in that picture. Well, we can always take some artistic like there's You really don't need to. Have you seen him sure was? <laughs> Since he came out, I, I did see where he's gotten all kinds of like criticism and stuff. Everyone has an opinion. People say he's like, he's not gay enough. <laughs> or he's, you know, why do we need another white? Well, opinions are like assholes. <laughs> Everybody has one. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you know what? Nobody's asshole is any of my business, so <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. But I figured we could help him out for those who think that he's not gay enough. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna we are kind of the experts. <laughs> See, you can paint your own face and look gorgeous if you practice. Mm. Well, I've been told the only time I ever look masculine is when I've tried to do drag, so <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> so why don't you tell the people what first got you involved with doing drag? How, and how long have you been doing it? Six years, Six and years. we have friends that did, uh, or no, not did, they still do, um, a fundraiser for Camp Sunrise called Bear Abilities. Oh, yes. That's and just happened, um, right? that is, yes, it happened. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of got the bug when I went to a cast party and watched the video. And yeah. I was out of town during the show, so we went and saw the video, and I kind of got hooked. So nice. And then I spent probably what a nine months learning how to paint. Well, you gotta go all the way. Well, <laughs> yeah, obviously, because there's nothing feminine about any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all about smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Since we're going to be turning her into a drag queen, I feel like one of the things we need to do this morning is come up with a drag name for him. How did you come up with your drag name? I googled it. So, well, since we can't google right now, what should Colton's Colton Haynes her way? <laughs> That's too easy. Um, he was in Team Wolf. That brings up a question that's totally unrelated. Why do you think it is that there are so many different kinds of animals that gay men identify as? So there's bears, otters, um, wolves, chickens, twigs. <laughs> Just chickens? Just really chicken, yeah. No, what's a chicken? That's like really young. <laughs> we'll just assume everything is legal. So a chicken is a young twig. So like me. <laughs> sure! I'm worried about Colton. <laughs> I'm really worried about him. I well, don't know that it's going to go Maybe it's a good thing, because if he doesn't look as good as a boy, then it won't be such a big loss when we turn him into a girl. Um, so you've been doing drag for six years. Oh, that's right. That's what we were talking about. Yes. And how, how has your drag changed in that time? There's a before-after photo in my um, profile pictures. Okay, I'm going to swipe that, and I'm going to show it to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That took me two and a half hours to paint. Now that was a little more like what I look like in drag. A yes. little. You're still looking yeah. better. I imagine that it would probably be a little bit intimidating to go out and, and drag like if you don't really feel like you know what you're doing and you know, it's you know like everyone's judging. For all intents and purposes, it could be you, you're coming out again. Even if you don't like looking at it, just don't look at it. <laughs> right. You know. But the thing I like about you and drag is that when you're in the room, you kind of, you can't, that's not a choice, you just have to look. And you make an interesting <laughs> point because it's very obvious when somebody is not looking at you. Yes. Like when they're sitting there with their back Oh, yeah. Because that's an invitation for me to come up and chat. <laughs> well, Vivian likes, I've, she does a lot of shows in places that, where people might not have seen a lot of drag queens before. Like you sure. do the Dirty Franks show, which Dirty is Franks this hot dog place, this small like hot dog place. Uh, on the west side. In the suburbs. <laughs> and so it's awesome because it does this show and there's so many people that go there that I don't think it's even really you can, drag anymore. There's a ton of regulars. It fills up pretty quickly. Yeah. But you can always tell the people that um, did not had no clue that there was a drag show there. Yeah. Because when we walk in, when we get there, um, and we're walking in and taking stuff to the back, and like jaws just hit the <laughs> You can audibly hear the sound of people's jaws dropping. So you do that one and you do a brunch. You do a, a, a brunch. drag brunch every month. Yep, King Avenue 5 here in Grandview where we're... We did a performance, me and the URIs guys, and I just remember you flinging 
something at us while we were performing. Oh, I know what it was. We were doing, <laughs> we were doing that song where the line is, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. And you were oh, I was flinging jelly, jelly packets. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, so my part's done. Now I'm just going to sit back and relax, and you can be in. <laughs> she likes to show I, off her boots to the sky cam. Uh, I think Paul's trying to look down my top. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get to get woo, to get the views. Will ratings go up if I pull it down. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. You, are, yeah. you have some special Rating. fans, don't yeah. you? I'll send them your way. I don't care who they are. We can't be friends. Here's the link. <laughs> if you watch this video 20 times and click on every ad, she'll be your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Vivian is going to teach us about drag queen contouring, right? Yes. Is that where you start? Yes. Okay. That's the first. Well, foundation powder and then contour. Okay. Contour and highlight. Oh, here, hold on a second. Don't want to skip any important steps. Oh. <laughs> power. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Did I do it right or did I? Yeah, it was flawless. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I use a medium first and go okay. in. Let's see how this. We're using pastels, so kind of cheating a little. Oh, it's kind of fun. So your hands have brush. His face is just disappearing before our eyes. So we highlight, we highlight the center okay. of the forehead. We'll make it a circle on him because he okay. has such a square face. And then... Can I smooch? Yeah. Ooh. So there, he's kind of... That's... Yeah. He's totally thin now. All right, so what's next? His face well, looks lovely well. little ear bobbles on, Paul. Oh, sorry, I was kind of back from rummaging through your little suitcase <laughs> up there. Oh, blush. Now, when you're doing drag makeup, yes. the, the name of the game is blend. So now, do you think that like some of the famous divas go through probably the same process? Like almost like what a drag queen goes through when they're getting ready to perform on stage? Um, theater makeup is very similar. Yeah. Um, because I was a theater major in college, and the whole nose contour thing with highlighting the center and to yeah. make... I mean, I don't have a, a massively wide nose, but um, to make your nose look thinner and more feminine, you mm -hmm. highlight down the center, and then you shade darker on the sides. Yeah. Um, and that is just, that's an old theater trick. That's been around for years. So. What did you perform in in college? Um, Not in drag, right? You were always No, in never in drag. Like, um, which, which guy were you like, um, <laughs> like I Sylvester played, Stallone? Yeah. <laughs> I played Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> in all of the university all productions. <laughs> of the Terminator, it's really yeah. popular the musical. <laughs> Terminator, the musical. <laughs> that would actually be awesome. And you know what, it'll probably happen. I was a little tall, so they had to build troughs for me to walk in, so that I was a little shorter than everybody else. Uh, you could do eyeliner. Yeah, let's do eyeliner. Do you do it? Do you want to do one and then I'll do the other? Sure. <laughs> it's gonna look better. I would never try to show up a guest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Not a steady hand at all. <laughs> so sexy. Oh my god. Oh, the little Egyptian girl. There's probably a real name for that, right? Cat eye. An Egyptian eye and a cat eye are similar, but they are not difficult. Why don't you do all the lashes? How's that? Yay! Can I make them bigger? Like yeah. huge? Like train wreck huge? Like mine. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and you put false. Yeah, you put false eyelashes on no, the bottom too. Know. Really? I no. <laughs> what? <laughs> so freaking dull. Damn. Yeah. Wait, let me know again. <laughs> Those are your real ones on top, too, aren't hey, they? Hey, look at these. <laughs> You'd probably just kiss him and your lipstick would go off onto the painting. Given the opportunity, I would I would lay one on him. <laughs> you hear that, Colton? All of this could be yours. He's not ready for that. <laughs> He's not watching this. Who are we kidding? I'm just studying your face. <laughs> so probably like something dark. So hide that and then and dark sugar rain. glitter kiss. What? Sugar glitter kiss. That should be my drag name. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, I honestly. <laughs> think you, you do the nurse sure. in charge. You're in charge. I'm just your lackey. I want you to just your beautiful, beautiful glamorous lackey. What? <laughs> Princess glitter. <laughs> That's actually false. Princess glitter. Sugar shimmer. That's what, yeah. We should do. Uh, we should have the people who are watching leave their suggestions. In the comments, what do you think this beautiful girl's name should be? <laughs> and then we'll have uh, we'll have Viv look, and she can pick her favorite. And then... <laughs> kind of looks like he's crying, which he probably well, is yeah. right now. <laughs> there are some tears. There. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Seth, I'll hold it for you. <laughs> no problem. He, Colton actually has done some amazing stuff. Um, what were the characters he did? He just did uh, so many. Ursula. Ursula. Ur yeah, Didn't he Ursula. just do Ursula? You've done, Ur you done Ursula. I have a huge Ur Ursula gown. Yeah, <laughs> which doesn't it always doesn't, stay on. But, uh, <laughs> I remember we, that show. We had some <laughs> costume malfunctions the first time I wore it. <laughs> I'll post that picture now. <laughs> <laughs> you can do some red. You want to do some red glitter on his lips? Yes. Can you even <laughs> Is that, ask? I mean, that was kind of a rhetorical question. I didn't even let you finish the question. Oh, it's nice and subtle. Because subtlety is Paul's <laughs> middle name. <laughs> yes, those are some lips. I'm going a little outside of the lines. Ooh. So you go dark. You like put dark over it and then kind of blend it down into this part, don't you? Yes. When you first started doing drag, did you try and talk in like a more feminine no. voice? Or did I, you, you, did, you know what? It, not that your voice is beautiful. I mean, it is melodic. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> no one looks at all this and thinks, oh, that's a woman. <laughs> and and I, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not offended by that. Yeah, he's like, all right, what's oh, next, shit. my queen? We're going <laughs> to fill in above his brows with white. OK, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the wig we're going to have going there. <laughs> so now the front of the wig, it kind of has this like magical little thing that makes it look like it goes into your hair. Or into your hairline. hairline. Yes. Hairline, yeah. That's, there's a reason I couldn't remember that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's receded out of your mind. <laughs> but you said he has done drag before. He um, dresses up at Halloween. Okay. That's where. That's how it starts. <laughs> you yeah, that. that's when all drag queens are born. Vivian was born on Halloween. Hi, Mom. That's the Halloween? first time yeah. I went. Oh, okay. I wore four inch stilettos and a short north. <laughs> um, ended up tearing a tendon and a ligament. <laughs> and my, and my left serious? ankle had <laughs> surgery a year later. No! Yeah, so I don't wear real high heels. How do you do with all this? this? Um, you, it, I would spray the hell out of it. Yeah. Uh, so basically what I always do? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's no different than your normal hair routine. <laughs> all right. Oh wait, we almost forgot. <gasps> when you're all done painting your face, yes, you lightly coat your face with hairspray to really? set your makeup. Yeah, I didn't know you did your face with this. Close your eyes, Colton. <laughs> Before <laughs> and after. Oh, this is a gal who is ready for the town. She, uh, she's, she's going places. She's got a plan. She, <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what it is. It's just us girls hanging out here today. <laughs> No guys. <laughs> no, no voice allowed in this club. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. It was a blast. Vivian, thank ah, you for sharing your magic. Absolutely. With us. Thanks for having me. This was fun. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe and leave us some comments to let us know what you think her drag name should be. And we will pick and tell you what we pick later. Sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get those earrings on fast enough. How do you do that <laughs> shit? You're good. She goes numb. Her really? ears, I don't know how to talk. Laura Elizabeth wants to know, how do you deal with family and friends who have a difficult time understanding that art is work and not a leisure activity that you can just do some other time? Well, I've always been pretty lucky. Most of the people in my life are really supportive and understanding.